Okay, and next we're going to talk about composition operations. There's um, there's six composition layers. So when we talk about an eight-layer effects engine on the V160 HD, it goes preset, program, and then picture-in-picture picture one, two, three, and four on top, top in that order. And then DSK one and two are the topmost layers. So the idea is that um, the if a layer is higher than another, it'll uh, cover over that if they overlap. Um, you can also do swapping with layers with the picture-in-picture, picture, um, swap sources and um, copy settings. So um, there's some flexibility with uh, setting everything up and programming it um, using the menus. So first we'll talk about split. There's two split modes, so you can do a horizontal split and you can you know, choose your source and you know, adjust the center position. Um, so you have some flexibility there. This is a quick way to do a split screen. Um, you can do a horizontal split as well. And then press it again to turn it off. Um, you can also create splits with picture-in-picture uh, -picture configurations as you can uh, horizontally crop those pip windows. So I'm talking about picture-in-picture. -picture. I got picture-in-picture -picture one right here. And you can set the source. Um, so let's say I want to you know, have a wide shot and I got the singer and the pip. Um, but you see when I press the source button, this turns uh, yellow here and I can um, do cut switching of the pip source. And um, if I want to bring it up in preview before I bring it to program, I can look at it there and then press the program button. And uh, I can move it around. I can change the size by pushing and twisting the horizontal knob. And then also I can uh, zoom in by pushing and twisting the uh, vertical knob. So these are dual function, whether you're just regular twist or push and twist. And uh, if I want to crop it, I'm going to go into a picture and picture menu. So this is uh, picture and picture one and horizontal cropping. And my push and twist, it make it go faster like that. And I can do something like that. And you saw how quick and easy it was for me to set this up and have this picture and picture going. Um, for picture in picture two, I have a assigned to HDMI number eight, which is a, a, a graphics computer. And um, for that, I can go to PIP two, and I can change the type from picture in picture to say a Luma key or a Chroma key. Now nothing happened yet because I need to set the key color on page three. The default's blue. There it is, it's green. So now I have. If I make it full screen, it's just like it would be with the DSK, but the advantage is I can make it smaller and move it around um, because it's technically a picture-in-picture -picture window, right? So if I go back to this, you'll see that that's what the window looks like, but I have it keyed out as a chroma key. And uh, additionally, the uh, downstream keyer, which is more flexible than uh, just Luma and chroma key, but it's a fixed size. It's full screen, so you can't uh, scale the DSK, so keep that in mind. But you do have, instead of these uh, push and twist knobs, you have level and gain controls. So you just simply, uh, once it's configured, right, so you go into a DSK menu, um, you set it for chroma, you go to the color on page two, so, you know, if it's blue, nothing's going to happen when I turn up this knob, but I'm going to have it on this green preset here, and I'm just outputting a bright green uh, background from a PowerPoint. And as I turn up the level, it disappears, and I have my lower third. Now, you can take things further. There's an addition of self key, which is Luma or Chroma. There's a alpha key, which can uh, only work with still images. But I mentioned earlier, if you have a PNG file with, um, uh, I don't have one loaded in, for this demo, but if you have a, a PNG file with alpha channel, um, it'll observe that transparency with the alpha key. In addition to that, if you have a graphic system that has key and fill output, so it has two video outputs, and so the key output is like a is like a you know black and white silhouette of the graphic, and then the um, the fill is the uh, you know full color uh, version of that graphic. So the idea behind key and fill um, is that you can bring it in to say like two spare HDMI inputs, and one of the nice things about the 160 is you have 16 active inputs, but you have eight you know, eight on the multi view, you don't have to see those two graphic inputs on your multi view. You can have them hidden, but they're still active. So you can still bring them up with the DSK. So, you know, if you want to bring it up into, you know, preview and see it before you take it to air, 
Um, and of course, you'd be monitoring it on your graphics computer. So, um, but that's for systems that have that key and fill output. So if you don't have that, you don't have to worry about it. You can just as well utilize the uh, self key with uh, Luma or Chroma if you just have a single video output from your graphics computer.